Hi everyone, I'm Nikki Hart and welcome to an InDesign tip for you here on Design Like a Pro. I'm going to start releasing these shorter versions of tutorials for you that basically are a quick little tip. They are more for beginners, but if I have some advanced or intermediate tips, I will definitely share those as well. But these, um, especially this one, is going to help you beginners with InDesign and starting to learn a little bit more about the features or some tips and tricks you may not be aware of. So I just have a project right here uh, today. This tip is at the end of your project. Something that I always do is I remove all of my unused color swatches. So if I come over here to my swatches palette, you'll see all of the colors over here. These top few are always included in a new InDesign document, but I don't always use those. In fact, all the colors I've used are down here. So a quick thing, and this cleans up your file, it makes it very easy going forward to know exactly what colors you're using so you don't have to go through a huge long list, especially if you're doing publications. This comes in really handy at the end just to clear away all of the swatches that you are not using. So the quick way to do that is just to open up your swatches palette here. If you do not see it, you can find it over in your Windows palette and then you would come down to color and then come over to swatches color and see swatches and then it'll show up for you and then you would just come over here and click this down arrow and you would say select all unused and it'll highlight all of the colors that are not currently being used in your document and from there you can just right click delete swatch and just like that all of the swatches are now deleted from your document. When you save this out, you're only going to see the colors that you're using from this point forward. So this is just a little tip that I have for you. It's not hard at all, but it's something that I always do for my projects at the end once I have something ready to go. So I'm only looking at the colors that I'm using in my document. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more InDesign tips, please be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest here at Design Like a Pro. Leave me comments below if you have any suggestions for some InDesign tips that you'd like me to cover. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next episode.